all right i think i'm good now uh it's a new year it's a new month which means we have new playstation plus games to talk about i think you can still get the december games and it seems like a december went by so quick because i feel like i just made this video for the december games it was my first time making it but january 2022 ps plus games for ps4 and ps5 let's get right into it all right this is coming straight from the playstation blog itself uh, the official PlayStation blog. I'll leave a link to this page in the description in case anybody wants to read it on their own or anything like that. But let's get right into it. This was posted December 29th. Today's the third. All games are available January 4th. So you still have a day or some hours before the new games are up on the store. Let's start the New Year celebrations off early with the announcement of the Trio PlayStation Plus games you'll be able to enjoy on Tuesday, January 4th. Available to add to your game library until Tuesday. February the 1st are Persona 5 Strikers, Dirt 5, and Deep Rock Galactic. First up here we have Persona 5 Strikers. It is the PS4 game. There's no PS5 version. Thought I would clarify that in case people get confused and start looking for game versions and all that. It is a PS4 game. No matter where you're playing it, it's going to be a PS4 uh, game. So, uh, fun fact about Persona. I never played Persona 5 ever again after I lost my save file when I upgraded from a regular PS4 to PS4 Pro. I lost all my game data even though i was only past the first palace but it turned me away from the game forever so maybe this will revive me wanting to play it all new story featuring the phantom thieves as they embark on an epic road trip across japan summer vacation with close friends takes a sudden turn as a distorted reality emerges thrusting you in an epic tale as you strike back against the corruption overtaking cities dynamically controlling your team during explosive action combat as you reveal the truth and redeem the hearts of those imprisoned at the center of the crisis moving on dirt 5 i don't really think i need to say much about dirt 5 it's a racing game a rat dirt rally racing game oops uh let's see what it says this one says ps4 and ps5 so perhaps there is a ps5 version which i'm gonna assume there actually is a ps5 version and also this game runs in 120 frames if i'm not mistaken uh conquer stunning global routes or routes i don't know how you guys say it and drive in an iconic roster drive an iconic roster of cars in an amplified off-road racing experience i'll leave it at that sentence dirt 5 doesn't really need an introduction uh i played it a little bit on xbox it's fun deep rock galactic this is the interesting one funny story i was actually really interested in this game a while back like probably over a year ago i was so bored and i wanted new games to play and i was looking into this game i was watching somebody play it on youtube and it looked pretty interesting even though i had no idea what the person was doing at the time deep rock galactic is a one through four player co-op fps featuring badass space dwarves that's a really good description 100 percent destructible environments procedurally generated caves i do remember that part that is pretty cool and endless hordes of alien monsters work together as a team to dig explore and fight your way through a massive cave system filled with hordes of deadly enemies and valuable resources you'll need to rely on your teammates if you want to survive the most hostile cave systems in the galaxy yeah this game is worth a shot I've been meaning to try it. I'll probably try it finally since more people will have access to it. I think it's also on Game Pass, but over on the PlayStation side of things, then uh, this makes it more accessible for people with PlayStation Plus that would not have known about it any other way. Like I mentioned earlier, it is your last chance to download December's PlayStation Plus games. Uh, you have until the end of Monday, January 3rd, which is today. So if you watch this video later on, then I'm sorry, but you missed it. Uh, but hopefully you guys added Godfall Challenger Edition, Lego DC Super Villains, and Mortal Shell to your game library. Uh, there's also some bonus VR games. They're right there. I don't feel like reading all of that. Uh, I did play Lego DC Super Villains while I was on vacation over in Florida. And I deleted it as soon as I started uh, playing it because the frame rate was atrocious. I didn't think it would come to that. Like, I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I thought the performance wasn't that important in the Lego game, but it just, I got frustrated from looking at it and I deleted it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, make sure you guys grab the December games. That's actually a pretty solid first month. Dirt 5, Persona 5, and Debrock Galactic. Uh, all playable on PS4, which is nice and inclusive. And Persona 5 alone is pretty carries some weight like the the game the name carries some weight 
And considering Dirt 5 is not that old and having it on here, that is actually really good. And then a low-key game like Deep Rock Galactic was a good addition that hopefully people can enjoy with their friends. But yeah, that's a pretty solid month. Aside from the PlayStation Plus games, make sure you guys stay tuned for other content on the channel. I'm trying to post more often. So far, we're three for three with this video, and I'm really proud of myself. So let's keep it going. That's PlayStation Plus games. We'll see what video I come out with tomorrow or whenever the next time I post. But thank you guys for watching once again, and I will see you on the next video.